Good morning and welcome to the fourth day of Vita. Um, this is fun. I am actually really enjoying getting back into vlogging. Um, 10 years is a long time and actually I was vlogging even before that. Um, but 10 years of Vita is a nice like marker to really see the 10 year difference of change in me as a person, which was like a bit sad in the middle there, um, the, the, the reason for the change, I guess. But um, then, you know, 10 years later, fast forward, I'm like living in Japan, have lived in Japan for four years and am now moving to England. Just like all really good things. Um, I think I was telling Jillian some of my like insecurities that like, you know, I want to do all these great things, but I don't go the extra mile. So like, I know that I could make really good YouTube videos, but I don't. And to me, that's fine. Cause it's not like my biggest passion. It's just something that I want to do. And I want to make them better for me. And because I want to share them with my friends, which is like the whole reason I started YouTube in the first place was for me and then like for my friends who wanted to see what was up. Uh, but now I'm too scared to be like, hey guys, I made a video uh, because it's just rambling, to be honest. Um, like now, for example, it is now 7.01. I am one minute late to go talk to my friend Zen. Um, I just made breakfast which is oatmeal and some tea from Cornwall from Jade, which I have just been slowly working on for like three years. Um, it's really good. So hopefully I can get more once I'm out there. Oh my God, Cornwall is so gorgeous. I can't wait to go back. I'm gonna chat with Zen. We're going to have a little story party chat and planning session for what's to come. I forgot to mention story party is a thing that I started with uh, my friend Zen in Canada and uh, we're just like a little group of writers who really wanted like a cafe vibe of like friends but online. And so far it's been going really well. We um, launched our first little ebook on Valentine's Day and uh, it's quite good. For anyone who is watching this who isn't <laughs> me, I'll put the link in the description if you'd like to check it out because it's free to read. Pay what you want. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go and chat with Zen and then after I chat with Zen, I'm going to have a little Adam's Family Book Club um, from my, my little tiny family from Tucson when we lived on Adam's Street. We started a book club and today's the first day we're actually going to talk about the book and not just drink. Um, yeah, so see you later. Here's my little breakfast. <laughs> my fiber pills because I'm an old lady and um, some like chocolate oatmeal thing and my Cornwall tea and I'm all set up here to chat with Zen and the sun is coming in beautifully but the room is quite empty and I'm just sitting on the floor um, and Seth, I didn't want to wake Seth up, so this is the room we come into to not disturb the other person. When I got there, she was like, oh, I just made fresh scones, do you want some? Like they were right off the oven and I had not eaten yet, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was just like shoveling scones in my mouth. <laughs> it was so delightful. And then we went to this like, lady who sells plants she like lives in this beachy neighborhood in this like old house and i was just gonna get one plant but she had so many plants i got like some really cool plants oh my god family saying like oh imagine how fine this mary lou would have looked in a bikini and i was like they're not gonna have that line in the book and it was like it, it was in the book and i was like oh shit <laughs> it is in the book i was laughing so hard i was like <laughs> It's a donkey, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> it is the donkey. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Dieters is here. Oh, Dieters. Whoa, you never like to be in the video. She doesn't know there's a video, That's why. She doesn't like pictures or videos of herself. And then Mitzi like poses for the camera, so. Cute. Uh, so it is 1 p.m. I started chatting at 7 a.m. with um, 
zen and we talked about story party things and like planning and whatnot and then <laughs> that lasted until 10 and then i immediately got on a call with the adams family book club and uh i had two cups of coffee and baileys and we chatted about books and it was really nice and laura's husband forrest joined us and uh we set up a new book for next week and i'm really loving it i'm loving the like old woman bookie vibes are you gonna focus uh yeah i i love having a book club um and we're talking about like playing games next time so i think that'll be fun and seth is here uh forrest says hi you met him once we had burgers yeah and he wants to play jackbox with us cool. and i want to play among us with them but we're gonna eat lunch now uh seth bought some kokoichi curry so we're gonna do that Hello, I am, um, Seth and I were watching the live action Lion King earlier and I only got like halfway through it and then cause Seth had ordered Kokoichi curry so it was quite big and we don't have a fridge anymore and normally I would save like half of that. And I just ate it all because I was like, it's either that or throw it away. And then I got quite full and we're like not even halfway through the movie. And I was like, I need to sleep now. And we didn't sleep, but we just sat around and I talked about um, this giveaway that I entered for a house in London. And was really hoping that we'd get, because um, that would just make my life really amazing and easier. Like much, much easier to just own a house, uh, which is something I never thought would happen in my life but we'll see I doubt it doubt it will happen but if it did mm, set for life and now I'm realizing we have like a days before we leave and the, ha the house still looks mostly like this um, so what I need to do right now is start packing things I am currently downloading photos to upload onto Google Drive for a place to put them because I don't want to put them all on my laptop um, because I needed to have returned this phone like days ago uh, so I'm gonna try and get it done tomorrow but I need to clear all the photos and videos off of it first that's what I need to do so it's packing and photos that is what's happening right now now I understand. What is it? Like a light? Mm, like a reflector. Oh. I need to just wrap up day four, Lafita. I'm so tired. Again, it is technically midnight again. Um, I've just been watching Good Girls in the background while I try to take off all my photos from my phone so that I can return it. And it is quite an undertaking. Like, I used to be able to just connect my phone to my laptop and then open the file for the phone for pictures and then just like drag and drop them. I just don't understand. Like, I know, like, iCloud and everything. I just feel like an old person and I'm like, but is it really there? Is it really backed up? How do I, like, access that? Just, there must be an easier way anyway that is all for today i think i'm gonna go just wash my face and go straight to bed to the, tomorrow is a lot of errands there's a lot going on in the next few days i'm very excited but i'm also very exhausted i got no spoons for nothing okay goodbye <laughs>